Hi everyone, Jennifer here from the top of B V, as in Victory Street, in Salt Lake City. Um, it's kind of a clear day, but you can definitely see the inversion. It's going to be setting in this week. Um, so it's not completely clear. You can't really see the mountains. You probably see that smog. It's yuck. Anyway, I made it to the top, and it's only half a mile up v street 200 feet elevation gain so actually it's not that at the top of v street we have shriners children's hospital in salt lake city i never realized there was one here in salt lake city i've heard of it in other cities in the u.s but um i guess i'm learning new stuff all the time anyway so this is the hospital and from the top here you can see some of the view and you can see where the inversion is setting in all the smog gets trapped in the valley it's warmer above and cooler below so if you go into the mountains you can see where that line is where the inversion ends if you go up there you will not see smog it will be clear but down here it's not that clear and as the week progresses, it's going to get worse and worse. So there was something I wanted to see behind the hospital. I'll take a walk and come back to you. So if you look right in the middle of the screen behind the hospital on the hill, you'll see this U. This is what I was hoping to see from the other side of the building, but the view gets obstructed. So this U on the hill is for the University of Utah. A lot of the colleges and schools in Utah actually write or somehow place the first letter of their school's name on a mountain behind their building. And interestingly, um, when I'm on the university campus, I don't tend to see it as clearly as I do from here and I'm not on the campus right now. So that's just an interesting tidbit.